Today, we're going to go from this to this in just a few minutes. Simple, easy, and holidays. Uh, three words that shouldn't go together, but today we're going to keep it simple, easy, and fun. We are going to make pretzels, uh, candied pretzels, with just a few simple ingredients, and I'll put them in the description below. So what I have here are some Rolos, three Musketeers, Hershey Kisses uh, with chocolate on the inside. Milky Way, Reese's Pieces, and Snickers. And of course, holiday M&Ms. So the first step is, is that you want to prepare your pan. You don't have to do this. I'm just lazy and I don't feel like cleaning up afterwards. So I take the extra step. I line my pan with parchment paper, and in order to get the parchment paper to stick, I just spray a little bit of oil. And then after I'm done, none of the chocolate and stuff is stuck to the pan. I just pull it off and then wash it off with some Dawn dish soap. You can use any pan you'd like. So um, the round one works good, especially when you have round things. Round things go in on round spaces. Um, and it just, it doesn't matter to the size or the shape. It's just all you're going to do is be able to put pretzels on the pan. It doesn't matter if it's a square pretzel or a round pretzel or a stick pretzel. It can be whatever kind you want. Make it yours. Be creative. Uh, show people what you can do through your baking. What I like to do, because I'm usually baking for several people at a time, is I like to prepare a few sheets and just lay them all out. Uh, so I'm not having to do a batch and then come back and lay out and do a batch and come back. So I just do all the pretzels laid out uh, and line my countertops or whatever space you have. So the important thing to remember while you're doing this is there's really no mistakes with this recipe. You can do whatever you would like and don't worry about how it looks. It's going to taste amazing. So for this, I promised you simple and easy. Uh, as you're watching this, just remember that you can take out parts that you don't want to do. And if you only want to do a small amount uh, for each one, or if you want to just do one, um, that is your choice. Uh, the same ratios and recipe apply to all of them. Uh, for today, though, we're going to do them all at the same time, just uh, to keep it super simple. The next step is you want to preheat your oven to 250 degrees Fahrenheit. And now we're going to start putting our candies on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take each candy, or if you're only doing one or whatever you're choosing to do, uh, and I'm just going to place it on the center of the pretzel. And now we're just going to put these into our preheated oven on the middle rack. So now we're going to leave those in there for about five to seven minutes, just enough for the chocolate to start melting. Don't let them completely melt on the bottom of the pan. So you want to keep an eye on it because temperatures in ovens do vary. So this is about what they should look like. Um, sometimes the caramel starts oozing out of the Rolos. However, we did learn together that sometimes uh, some of the smaller candies uh, melt faster. And so I did take them out a little bit earlier. If I was doing just the big candies, I would have waited until the uh, centers had started slightly coming out just like the Rolos. But I didn't want to lose the Reese's Cups completely. Uh, and those are my favorite. So we definitely want to keep those. This is the point to where you can be creative. You can add M&Ms uh, to make them holiday festive to the middle and then just slightly push down just enough to embed it a little bit uh, while these are hot. You want to make sure these are hot. So be careful as you're touching them also. If you're like me, you burn yourself a lot. So just be careful at the edge of the pan. And just like that, you can also take uh, the other pretzels, uh, a pretzel on top, and kind of push down and make a little sandwich. Whoops. And in a minute, I'll show you what we're going to do with the sandwich ones to be creative with that one. You're going to want to light these cool completely, uh, no heat. If there's heat on the sandwich ones, the pretzels can slide around. 
and for the next step you're not going to want to have that happen. You can cool them to room temperature if you have the time or pop them in the refrigerator for a couple minutes or in my case it's really cold outside. Uh, I just stuck them outside for a couple minutes in the garage and they quickly cooled. The next thing you're going to want to do is uh, take them from the sheet that you have, the cookie sheet that you had them on, and place them on some type of wire rack. If you don't have a wire rack, you can put them on maybe a layer of foil or wax paper or parchment paper, um, and you're welcome to even keep it on the tray. I also removed the candies that are done uh, with our M&Ms, and we'll put those aside. The next Step that we're going to do it has the sandwich uh, pretzels but I also put some plain pretzels on here and we'll get to that in a moment and the reason why I find it important to go ahead and lay them out on the tray is to make sure that when um, I'm completing the next step with the drizzle and coating I have enough room to put them back on the tray so that they can cool down all right so what we're going to do next is we're going to Create our own double broiler. If you have one, that's great. Um, I, I don't, and I choose to also use a pan with a glass bowl. You'll also need a spatula, uh, a stove top, or some way to boil and keep your water hot. I like to get it started in this boiler, tea boiler. I don't know what it's called. Um, but it, it goes onto a plate, it boils it for you, and then you can just get it started without having to wait so long on the stove. Fill it about halfway through. So you want it to where you can set your bowl inside and the water is just gonna touch along the or along the, the way right here. You don't want it to come all the way up to the side and you don't want your bowl to sit uh, to where it touches the bottom. I like to use, um, well Pyrex is my favorite, but where you can tilt the bowl and it can move around without the water spilling out. I'm gonna put this on the burner on the stove and I don't want it to quite come to a rolling boil. I'm just gonna keep it warm. So this is what it should look like as it melts and you'll wanna keep this um, warm and uh, not let it cool because it will harden pretty quickly uh, as you're working with it. So. What I would suggest is to have a little, uh, have your tray next to you on your stove and just kind of work from there. So what you're gonna do next is you're going to coat your sandwiches. So you can do this in two ways and I'm going to do both. You can take your sandwich and dip halfway in and kind of roll it around, kind of let it drizzle off and place it back on the tray. This is also a good time. You're going to want to add any kind of sprinkles uh, at this time so that when the chocolate sets, the sprinkles are in there. Uh, you can also do one-sided, but be very careful when you do this because it's going to be really hot. Or what I like to do is kind of just take some tongs and completely submerge it in there, grab it out. let it drip as much as possible, and then just kind of set it. Well, thanks for joining me today, and I hope you had just as much fun as I did. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like and subscribe button below, and we'll see you next time.